Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you your first look at the brand new Photoshop CC 2015 and the new Artboards capability for doing multiple layouts inside a single Photoshop document. Let's take a look. Now, Artboards aren't a new concept. We've had them in Illustrator for a few versions now, but they're made, they've made their way over to Photoshop. So, as you might expect, there is an Artboard tool for designing new Artboards. But a lot of you might be working with existing documents that you want to take advantage of the new artboard feature. For example, here's a web page layout for the desktop layout. And as a matter of fact, they've got the tablet layout. They've got all of these in here as different layer groups that they would turn on and turn off. And that's the old painful way that we would have done this in the past. So now I can select this large desktop layout. And with a right click, I can now convert that layer group into an artboard. So now that it's an artboard, I'm in the artboard tool. I can see that it's uh, giving me the size of this artboard, and I can even go in and make new artboards in this single document. So rather than have the tablet one buried into uh, the same desktop one, now let's go ahead and make a new artboard for the tablet. So we'll just go ahead and drag it out. And you know what? I don't remember what size the tablet is. So let's just let go. And let's go up to our size where we have all of these different preset sizes ready to go. So I can make this an iPad mini artboard. And now I know it's the exact size I need. I can also double click and name this artboard iPad mini so that there will be no confusion as to which one it is. Now, of course, I'm in the artboard tool. I'm going to go ahead and twirl down. And let's twirl some of these other ones up that I don't need right off the bat. And as I scroll down, I see the one for tablet. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And that, again, that's the layer group that used to be there for tablet. But now we can switch to our move tool and we can take that layer group, select it, and just simply drag it over out of the desktop group and put it on the tablet view. Now, as soon as I'm on the tablet layout and let go, you notice it kind of snaps back up to the tablet size because that's the size of that artboard. If I go to my artboard tool now, I can select that artboard. Let's go ahead and select the iPad mini artboard. And then I can go ahead and expand it down and see more of this particular layout for the tablet. So now I get the ability to have multiple artboards inside my Photoshop document, have them any size and orientation that I need them to be, design the complete project in one PSD and get a bird's eye view of each piece of the design. So if we're working on web design or, or device design, I can have all the device screens and have all the different layouts and show my client one bird's eye view of what it all looks like. So that's the new artboards in Photoshop CC for 2015. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one. Uh -oh.